Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss NP hard and NP complete problem. So before discussing these two problems, we need to understand reduction concept. So let's say we are having two problems, problem A and problem B. And we have algorithm for solving these two problems. Algorithm A for solving this problem. Algorithm B for solving this problem. So this algorithm needs input in IA format whereas this algorithm needs input in IB format. Now uh, if we can use this algorithm for solving this problem. Let's say we can use this algorithm for solving problem A. Now uh, we know that algo uh, for solving problem A algorithm of uh, a takes input in this format and then it provides output so let's say this is the algorithm a and now what we want to do we want to use algorithm b here so the thing is that this algorithm needs input in ib format whereas the input for this algorithm is in the format of ia so we need some mechanism which can convert this input in the input which is required by this algorithm. So what we have done, we have find out a function and this function can convert this input in the input which is required by this algorithm. And we are discussing here decision problem. So the output will be yes or no. So if this algorithm is saying that output is yes, so that output will be same for this one. So the final output also will be yes. So this function, we can write this function in this format. Like this function will take input in IA format and it will convert into another format IB. And this conversion should take only polynomial time. As we know that uh, when we talk about algorithm, so efficient algorithms are algorithms which take only polynomial time. So this function conversion will happen in polynomial time. So if we think this algorithm A as a black box, let's say we don't know what is inside of this box. So it's simply taking IA and providing output. But we were having algorithm B already available. So instead of writing a new algorithm for A, we have used that algorithm. And what we have done, we have just converted input in the format of algorithm B. So uh, this uh, actually related to reduction now we are having a problem A problem B and we uh, can say like this problem can be reduced to problem B in polynomial time if there is a function which convert instance of problem A into instance of problem B and solution of that instance provides solution of problem B. So the thing is that uh, this situation you can understand like if we are having a functions uh, in programming language so if, if uh, we are using a function in our code so that uh, actually some kind of related to reduction we don't know how that function is working what we are concerned about what type of input that function required and what are the output so, so uh, reduction if a problem is reducible to another problem it means that another problem algorithm can be used to solve this problem now for that case we need a function which can convert input in the required for required format and that function conversion take place in polynomial time so what will be the total cost? So the cost will be uh, the cost of this algorithm, the algorithm for problem B. Uh, yeah. What is the cost for that algorithm plus what is the conversion cost? Like if we look at what will be the cost of algorithm A. So first cost, how much time, uh, what is the complexity of this function? So how much time is taken by this conversion so this is a polynomial time function so this is a polynomial time and how much time is taken by this algorithm so this one also we are considering as a polynomial time so what is MP complete problem 
so first we will see what is np hard so if there is a problem and every np problem can be polynomial time reducible to problem e let's say we are having a problem e and there is uh, this is there is a state that every np problem what uh, every problem which uh, comes under np class all those problems can be reducible to e in polynomial time it means np hard problem if we are having an algorithm to solve np hard problem those algorithm can be used to solve every np problem so this algorithm this uh, problem e actually known as np hard problem now if a np hard problem is also part of np class so that problem is actually known as np complete problem so if a np complete problem another word you can say in np class if there is a problem in such a way that every other np problem can be reducible to that problem in polynomial time so that is np complete problem uh, so this is the another definition like for all problems np are reducible to p then p is np hard and uh, when it becomes np complete when this problem also part of np Okay, so thanks for watching.